We're going to talk a little bit about the Santali film. I had the, I had the privilege of going all the way to Jharkhand, which is a state uh, between West Bengal and um, Bihar in the eastern, like sort of the northeastern side of India, but not the north-northeast, which is the Seven Sisters, to make a film in the Santali language. I'm actually going to skip this slide, but we can read it quickly. What do we do? We produce evangelistic films. We also train people. I'm going to talk about that later. And we mobilize for the 2020 vision. You're getting that all late today. And we equip other missionaries with evangelistic media. Praise the Lord. Let's watch a clip. That again. It has not yet reached with the gospel of Jesus Christ. 75% of that population still lacks an audio-visual gospel presentation that is culturally relevant to them. That's in a language that is their home heart language. And Creative International has been diligently trying to see the least evangelized many people groups of the world provided with the gospel in an audio-visual format that they can understand because it is the gospel of Jesus Christ being communicated to them in their language and using their cultural forms. And I just love being a filmmaker, being able to go to these people groups and uh, just enjoy their culture and, and enjoy the challenge of trying to tell a story that's the story of Jesus, but in a way that's relevant to them. I hope what you took away from that is that evangelistic filmmaking is hard, but really, really fun. I actually love it. I've got the best job in the world. I've been serving with Create International since I did a training program with them in 2009. They threw me in the deep end of the pool, and a few months after, my, um, after I finished the training with them, I was directing a film in Rajasthan in 2010. Since that time, I have I have actually directed 12 productions with CREATE. Eight of those happen to have been in India. I just keep going back to India for some reason. I think maybe because the Lord loves me. While I was in India, I worked with uh, Daniel Kakawa, the pastor of Hilo Missionary Church. So the Santali film was actually initiated by this man and his church in Hawaii that they had adopted this people group and they, they actually approached us and said, would you do this production? To which we wisely said yes. Then another part of that was Steve. I was working with my DP, Paul, who is from Hyderabad. I think technically Paul may have been serving with Create Thailand at the time. And we also had Sharon, who's here trying to stay warm. She was also serving with Create Thailand. So I have to thank Penny because she's always giving me staff to borrow. Thank you, Penny, publicly. In addition to that, we worked with uh, Pastor Sushil Morandi and his Santali associates in Jharkhand, largely based in Dhuka. And um, they're the ones actually distributing the film right now. We worked with former media DTS students. We're a YWAM ministry, so we like to run discipleship training schools. I had the privilege of doing that in Korean India a few times. So it turned out that the crew of this particular film, five of our crew members were former students from different DTSs that I had done in Jaipur. We also borrowed a few people from YWAM in Dehradun, Uttarakhand, and from YWAM Varanasi. But of course, and I hope this is really clear today, it's God that it's our executive producer. He answers so many prayers, and we're gonna watch a series of videos now. The first, oh, a little background. What are bangas? You'll hear bangas referred to. This particular group in India is not a, they are not Hindus, and they're very proud of that. They were a tribal group, and so they spent a lot of time being very concerned about Bangas, which is the name that they have for the spirits 
that they worship in the jungle. They're also very afraid of the jungle. And jungle is actually the Hindi word for the woods. Ancient stories incorporated. They had in their tradition stories that resembled the story of Adam and Eve and Noah. So the missionaries that have gone to the Santali people and have had breakthroughs have noted that by sharing these stories, they're able to have a cultural bridge to talk about their creator god that they know as Takar Jiu. And in fact, in this culture, they actually have these storytellers that go around to the villages and share the story of the creation of the Santali people. And they're really, they're basically telling the Adam and Eve story. So we took that and incorporated that into our story. You'll see a storyteller in there and he's talking about, um, about God the Creator. And so one of the big motivations for this film was to be able to send a very clear message that our God, the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings, he is not a foreign God. That it is possible to be Santali and to be Christian. And this film, maybe more than any other film that I've made in the, the films that have been made, sends a very clear message that your culture is a culture that God gave you and, and it celebrates the culture and says, yes, I'm a Santali and I'm a Christian and those things are not mutually exclusive because that would be a lie from sin. Who is Bob? Well, she's this woman. This was the woman that we cast in the film. We spent the first four days of our film working with her. Um, and we needed to work with her for about five and a half days. But on the fifth day, she wasn't able to come back. And so we prayed and we prayed and we prayed for the next two weeks that she would come back to us. And in the end, she did not. And so we had to spend our last two days running around trying to reshoot as many scenes as we could with someone else. So when I tell you that these films are hard, they're hard. Sharon will tell you, we showed up and we didn't stop every day we were filming. We had to start kind of giving people some breaks just to give, oh, you're sick? No, nope, I'm sorry, come to the set. I mean, it was pretty brutal. But in the end, do you remember that? No, because you're watching this film and it celebrates Jesus. And he's worth it. He is worth the diarrhea. He's worth me being away from home. He is worth whatever challenges you might encounter. And you will face challenges, but if you face them knowing that God will answer your prayers. He just will, and it will work out. So let's watch those clips. First the trailer, then the behind the scenes, then Daniel Kakao.
we had a cast of about a thousand people for this film, and I'm not exaggerating. It was really important um, to show the land. These are really the people that are connected with the land. And that was something that in the song, there was a music video in the film. And the whole music video in the, in the movie was talking about our God created this land and he created these flowers and he created this river and all of these things were made by him. But knowing him is even better than all of that. These are the scenes where the storyteller events a uh, contextualized worship gathering. That's me with my old hat. The peacock is actually the national bird of India. You didn't know that. This one's getting a little aggressive. And that is Pastor Sushil Morandi, who actually we ended up casting in the film. We don't always cast our cultural advisors into the film, it just sort of ended up being the case. Of course, we got a big musical number in this one. Yeah, 
been my privilege to partner with Create International and the 2020 Vision. A vision to reach the least reached male peoples of the world. And many pastors think, well, I have been called to be a missionary. How can I be a part of this awesome work? And I can tell you right now how you can be a part of reaching these last reached peoples in the world by being a part of the 2020 Vision. We just finished um, doing a film for the Santal people, about 8 million people in India, and a great experience working with them and doing these films in a culture-specific way, which has been the most effective way to reach um, these different people groups. It's in a way where they know that this is our God, not a foreign God, and this is a God who loves us. And of course, the Gospel is all about God loving the people, that we love Him because He first loved us. And it was a great experience for our church, and our church was very excited to be a part of it. Some of the things we did to help the church get involved was to research the people we wanted to make a film about. And now you can do a lot of research at home because so many of the original sources are on the internet for free. And we had our peoples researching and learning about the people and the culture. And as they do that, they, they get to know them and adopt them like they're their own. And after the research, we had prayer for the people and the team. And we talked more about the native partners that we were working with and learning about them and their background. And got the people to really feel like they were family together. And getting to know the partners that we're working with, the director and the other crew. And as we knew them better and better through this process, like in a Sunday morning, all you do is like maybe five minutes at a time, share a little bit about the people, share a little bit about their culture, share a little bit about the partners and how they came to Christ. And then it's like, this is something that's ours and family, and they can get more and more involved. And as we did this then, we played a vital role when they did go out and start filming by praying for them before they went out and praying for them each day. And the film crew from 2020 Vision, they sent us reports every day and we prayed over those specific things that they were facing. And prayer coverage, again, is so important for any mission trip. I know a lot of you have gone on mission trips and you know how important that prayer coverage is. I want to challenge you pastors and mission leaders to be a part of the 2020 Vision. We know the effectiveness of these audiovisual tools. And many of us don't have the equipment, don't have the, the manpower, don't have the expertise to do them. But with 70% of the last unreached peoples being illiterate, this is the way to do it. And with the, the technology we have today, it spreads so fast. It can go with your iPhones and iPads and jump drives, and it'll spread so fast. This is the best way that we seen to reach the loss. And I want to give that challenge to you. It doesn't take much. Just gathering our churches together and putting in a thousand dollars or two each, and you can have a film for these people, and they will appreciate it so much like the people that we did a film for. And it will be lasting for them, and it doesn't cost a lot for you. And I was able to get our church district to donate to this project also. And once your church and your, your church district or the other churches you have see the effectiveness, they're going to be wanting and ready to do another people group. And I want to challenge you to do that because we are ready and we're going to be doing more people groups. So thank you, Daniel Kakawa. Thank you, Penny Armstrong. Thank you, Sharon. Thank you for all these people that came because the Santali people need Jesus. Amen.